Hillary Clinton vows to dance in the streets of Omaha after Election Day. Warren Buffett pledges to personally drive 10 people to the polls on November 8th. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. The race for Omaha's one electoral vote in District 2 just became a whole lot hotter and more competitive. Democrats vowed to take it back. Here again is Nick Starling kicking off our campaign 2016 coverage. The crowd erupts as Hillary Clinton takes the stage with the so-called Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett. Both of them see the second district up for grabs. Just depends on who turns out. My goal is to have the turnout in Douglas and Sarby County, the second district, is to have the turnout here be the highest percentage of potential voters of any district in the country. In trying to get people to vote, Buffett pledged to take 10 people to the polls, telling the crowd he'll reserve Ali the trolley on November 8th for the effort. We talked with Clinton's political director, Amanda Renteria, about the strategy behind Clinton's trip to Omaha. When we come to Nebraska, we think we've got a shot to make sure we win this district. She says the campaign wants to take nothing for granted, an election that could be a close one. We want to make sure we leave nothing off the table. We want to fight for every single vote, and Nebraska is a the key piece to that. Clinton supporters say knowing their vote counts makes a difference. It's absolutely critical. I think a lot of people in Omaha kind of tend to think we live in a red state, we don't need to go out and vote, but we proved in 2008 that it was absolutely critical for us to get to the polls. Me and my girlfriends are going to volunteer, we're going to take people, whatever we need to do to help Hillary, we're going to do it because we're with her. The power of the vote is something that people should really advocate for and go out and use that every election and hopefully we can make a difference here.